Hi guys, welcome to episode number six of SalsaVentura.tv on YouTube. Now, welcome to this episode because I keep getting those questions about how to remember your moves. And I've been talking about it in some other videos, but I'm going to explain it to you again. And uh, some of you guys asked me a few weeks ago, like, how did you come up with your system? And how come that now I'm using this system that now I can remember? Can you please go into the depths of how that works? Now, I'm going to explain to you first a little bit of how I came to the to this very particular system that will help you, I mean, in an incredible way to not having to remember your moves, but to just know how to find them once you're on the dance floor. And um, I'm about to show you a video of SalsaVentura.tv with the six term pattern system. I'm going to give it to you in a very short version. So just going into the specific terms, but first give, let me give you a short explanation of how it came to the existence. Now guys, before we uh, move on, please remember, um, please become member of our YouTube channel. Please also like and place your comments below uh, if you have any ideas or suggestions for upcoming videos. Now, first of all, many, many years ago, and I think you can find yourself in that, uh, I was very addicted to dancing. And that meant that when I was planning to stay at home, many times I found myself back on the dance floor within only half an hour after that decision of staying home. And I think you know what I mean. Uh, but there was also a part of frustration going on in me because I remember that whenever I would go out dancing, I would just not be able to remember my moves. And I knew I had many moves because I was taking classes. And even at the time that I already started teaching, I still had a hard time remembering my moves. So one day I stayed home and I decided to just ask myself, how many things, uh, how many combinations, how many turn patterns can you actually do when you're dancing with a partner? And I came to the three areas. There was one area in front of me as a guy, and there was one area on my left, and there was one area on my right side. Those are the, let's say, the, the places in where I can turn the lady. And then there are only two ways that you can turn the lady. That's clockwise to the right side and counterclockwise to the left. So then I thought, well, is it this simple? Because that would mean that basically if I can turn it in front of me in both directions, then we have two turns. If I can do the same on my left, we have another two turns. And if I can do the same on my right side, we have another two, which makes a total of six. And then I wonder like, how many people are doing this? And is this actually one of the ways to look at it? And I put, um, I put some videos on and I remember that I was watching the best dancers at that moment. It was in a, in a salsa congress in Toronto, actually, in Canada. It was many years ago. It was actually the, the congress, if you know Super Mario from London, it was the congress where Super Mario had his debut. One guy got ill or he didn't show up and then they asked Mario from London to, uh, to stand in. And that is actually what gave Mario uh, his boost for his career and you can ask him because he still remembers that so um, What happens is that I had the video of those congresses because I was filming in that Congress for a lot of hours And I decided that night when I stayed home to watch those videos and just asking myself Is this true? Are those the six turns and actually what? Uh, what came out is that yes 80% what I noticed in those videos and it's still like that today guys what I noticed in this video is 80% of what the best dancers in the world are doing consists out of mainly six turns. And if this is the first time you will hear it, you might go like, is this true? Because there are so many turns. Yes, it's true. There are basically six turns being done. And of course there are a lot of extra turns, but in the basics, there are six turns and 80% of everything the best dancers in the world are doing consists out of those six. So you might go like, okay, so how is this working? So I'm about to show you this video that is on our platform, SalsaVentura.tv. I'm also going to place a link uh, at the end of this video to the SalsaVentura 6 term planning system. So it's easier to get there. And um, I would advise you just to sit down, relax, take a good look at the turns, because I'm just going to show you the turns and the options that you have within those turns. And connected to that, we also have seven ways of holding hands. That means that, of course, you have a specific term, but there are many ways in holding each other's hands. So I'm also going to show you that video connected. And then I see you back 
at the end of those videos and guys give it a shot give it a chance and you will see that it's almost escaping out of the matrix uh, that's how it felt to me it takes some practice but i'm sure you are not going to be sorry for it okay enjoy the video see you at the end first of all we have the part where we can turn the lady in front of us okay it's very simple we do a lot of turns here on the spot but most turns are very simple it's a single right turn and it's a single left turn like this in front of the guys and it's gonna go now to the left side of the guy so now if you start looking what can i do basically with the lady on my left i can turn her left and i can turn her to the right side do you do a left turn yes of course it's an inside crossbody turn which is the most basic version of a left turn traveling from one side to the other on the left side of the guys so again this is what we call the inside crossbody turn that's it so we can also turn her outside this is what we call inside because she, she turns towards the guy but i can also turn her out now leaving away the instructions just to show you when i give her an impulse forward and back i can now turn her out and yes it's true there are many many versions of this but in the basic this is what we call the outside turn so one two three and five six and seven so what do we have now we have two turns in front of the guy we have two turns on his left inside and outside leaving all the other options out and we have two more turns on his right side so we're going to start let's start with what we call the enchufa the enchufa is a turn that comes from cuba and it goes like this okay and if you have followed our entire beginners one two three program then you will see that all these turns are part of the of the system so i'm stepping back and this is what we call an enchufa it originally comes from cuba the cuban dancers do it a lot enchufas uh, but it's still being danced a lot on the dance floor for the lady this is a turn to her left take a look one two three and five six seven and it starts on the right side of the guys now then we go to number six and the sixth one is not to the left of the lady but to the right side of the lady and this is what we call the reverse crossbody turn so again it's a turn for her to the other side to the right side one two we turn her five six seven now what is nice and interesting for you to know is that the first four turns can all be done with the guy stepping forward number five and six guys you have to step back in order to make them work okay i'm stepping back now now we have six turns only and we have to add another little system that we created a separate video for because now you can start playing with different kind of hand positions of course okay guys so after you have watched the six turn pattern system now i'm going to share with you the seven ways of holding hands you now want to know how to combine those six turns with the way you're holding her hands now basically you will find out if you start investigating this that there are seven ways this is what we call position number one it's my left with the right hand of my partner position number one position number two it's exactly the other way around it's the right hand of the guy and the left hand of the lady and the third one is parallel holds we call this part number three okay so we have one two and three in four we change hands so i can always start a combination with a change hand position this is both with our right hand and now i'm going to do the same with my left so we call this left left hold they also call this the shake hand position and this is the reverse shake hand you can also work in numbers in that case this is number four and this is number five now it are seven ways of holding hands so we have two more to go in number six we cross the hands double and the left hand is down and the right hand is up and the other one is left hand up and the right hand down then the only thing you now have to do is add one more little system and that's you can bring your hand up you can bring it to her shoulder height or you can bring it down and with down i mean the hand lower than her elbow so remember seven ways of holding hands 
and there are three levels of what I call high and low. Together with your six term pattern system, you have a salsa matrix that can build you literally hundreds and maybe even more than that, maybe thousands of turns. Now, first of all, congratulations that you made it all the way to the end of this video, because I know that for some people, they just tend to, you know, to kind of switch off whenever they get involved with something new or they go like, well, too complicated, too much talking, you know, turn it off. But many times it is about getting a dive into it a little bit deeper than what you're used to, to get to new insights. So. Hope you liked it. See you in the next episode uh, on Salsa Ventura and uh, see you next time. Again, guys, any suggestions, please place them down below. See you soon. Ciao.